Hello everyone, this is Suki from RealTouch and today I'm going to get you some new features of how to use the AI in lessons and in teachings. And first of all, we have the AI voice control here. We can just long press it and initiate any type of applications. For example, open whiteboard. With the voice control, we can open whiteboard directly. And then for uh, some lessons, if the teacher didn't plan uh, any lessons or didn't do any coursework before the class, he or she can just use the AI functions to generate the lessons directly from our whiteboard software. Okay, for example, I want to have an English alphabet letter, letter lesson and I can just use the voice control to say the words English alphabet. Okay, and then we'll have the English alphabet directly here from the voice control and then we can click lessons okay, here and then we can use, uh, okay, this is an English lesson, we can choose the subject as English and then choose the, which grade you are going to get to the knowledge, okay, for example, grade one and how many pages you want to generate the lessons for the students, for example, I just want to have three pages to get the students to know how to present the lessons okay and then uh, for the design outcome we can choose a uh, uh, different models and then the structures we can also choose different structures and for the language we can choose different type of language because uh, different countries they have different type of language to use from right and then for the timeline we can choose 30 minutes 45 minutes 60 minutes or 90 minutes and then standards we have different type of standards and we can also create it directly by just click the generate and then we can generate the lessons directly here by the AI page by page okay for example right now we have the first page okay you can see and then right now the AI is generating the second page and you guys can see the second page is generated we have videos we have pictures and then we have learning goals okay showing in the words and sentence here okay so it is page by page with all the information for the teachers to understand the goal of this lesson and how to present this lesson in a better way. Okay, as we explain this, the three pages have already been generated. Okay, okay, we have the third page and this is the first page. And then we have this video, okay, directly generated by the AI and then we have Okay, the teacher knows the first one is to introduce the English alphabet by a song. So we can have the, yeah, we can see the video here. Okay, English alphabet lesson. Is it very easy? So it's pretty easy, right, to use uh, the AI generation okay and we just click it back and then we can also see the second page okay second page as well goes here and how to present the class and the uh, videos and then uh, pictures everything is very clear by the AI features so what do you think would you like to try for the AI feature just contact us for the information and the new application thank you I mean, hello everyone, I am physics teacher Ted uh, and I'm really excited to demonstrate. Uh, I'm really excited to test out how AI can help me prepare my teaching uh, courseware. Uh, and today's topic is uh, Newton's first law. So I can drag it up here and I can choose the large language model. This is the lesson and subject I can choose physics grade page.
uh, looks very good and now I choose one page like this I want to uh, do some I want to edit I can edit here and use my mobile phone and scan and edit now if I choose another language with different structure but same topic And let's choose Arabic. So uh, accordingly, I choose Arabic, it generates uh, Arabic language letters, and the video is also in Arabic. And here I choose, uh, first, first one, I choose 5 E structure, and it, now I choose UBD, uh, and uh, I choose Arabic language, I choose here specialized expertise. Uh, the desired outcome is also different, grade is different, so which one uh, is better and leave your comment below.